Our help comes from the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Monday, the day after Pentecost. We begin with the song of the Spirit of the Lord, taken from Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives, and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. Therefore I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my soul shall exult in my God. For God has clothed me with salvation as a garment, and robed me with integrity as a cloak. For as the earth brings forth its shoot, and as a garden causes the seeds to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. We take a moment to give thanks to God for the blessings he has showered upon us this weekend. Our reading set for today is taken from Romans chapter 1 beginning at the first verse. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, the gospel concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness, by resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for the sake of his name, including yourselves who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all God's beloved in Rome who are called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. For God, whom I serve with my spirit by announcing the gospel of his Son, is my witness that without ceasing I remember you always in my prayers, asking that by God's will I may somehow at last succeed in coming to you. For I am longing to see you so that I may share with you some spiritual gift to strengthen you, or rather so that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far have been prevented, in order that I may reap some harvest among you as I have among the rest of the Gentiles. I am a debtor both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish. Hence my eagerness to proclaim the gospel to you also who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed through faith, for faith, as it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. We hold silence to consider how we may live by faith today as we head into a new week.
A joyful assembly from Hebrews 12. We have come before God's holy mountain, the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before myriads of angels in festal gathering, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God, the judge of all, before the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us therefore give thanks to God, thus offering acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We bring before God our prayers of thanks and praise and intercession. And we invite his Holy Spirit to fill us with peace this day, that all we do and say would be set in the context of his great love and provision for us. So let us be at peace within ourselves. Let us accept that we are profoundly loved and need never be afraid. Let us be aware of the source of being that is common to us all and to all living creatures. Let us be filled with the presence of the great compassion towards ourself and towards all living beings. Realising that we are all nourished from the same source of life, May we so live that others be not deprived of air, food, water, shelter, or the chance to live. Let us pray that we ourselves cease to be a cause of suffering to one another. With humility, let us pray for the establishment of peace in our hearts and on earth. May God kindle in us the fire of love to bring us alive and give warmth to the world. Lead me from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead me from despair to hope from fear to trust, lead me from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our heart, our world, and our universe this day. Amen. We pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this new day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger, and guide us to do always what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Alleluia. Amen. 
Thank you so much for joining me for morning prayer today. I pray God's blessings on your week ahead. Go well.